Guess whose birthday is next week? You got a 50-50 chance. It's Marie Louise's birthday, and we are celebrating her this week. Welcome to Kim's Art Alchemy. Look what I have in front of me today. I found this at Michael's, and it is an 11.8 inch round um, with a black edge to it and a white base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my base with this um, Prussian blue phthalo by Amsterdam. And uh, once that is done, I'll be back. As I said, I brushed on the paint, the Prussian blue phthalo straight from the tube because it is a um, transparent, semi-transparent um, paint. And so when it's straight from the tube, it'll give a darker coverage or more full coverage. There's still areas where you can see that white through, but I also mixed up um, a bunch with some Floetrol and I'm just gonna pour it on over here. We're back, it's dry. And yes, you can still see some of the brush strokes on this, but they're not as prominent. So I'm not too worried about it. I have mixed up six ounces of resin. This is resin by Let's Resin. And um, I let it sit for quite a while. And I got this from Michael's Creatology Extra Fine Glitter. And I'm gonna add a little of that in here. Not a lot, just a little. If you have not guessed, I'm trying to make base seam. And I don't want to have too, too many of these sparkles. I think that's perfect. So it'll, it'll look like stars. Hopefully. Oh yeah, look at that. And this is going to be my first layer. I think that was a perfect amount, so I have to remember. This is going to involve several layers of resin. We're back, this level is cured, and look at that sparkle. It's more actually than I thought it would be. Next step, is cutting out planets. So I got this thing, a circular cutter from Fiskars, which brings this into play. I have saved um, skins from different things that I have done. And um, Hopefully I can find something in here that I want to use. That could make a cool planet. Oh, I forgot about this one. See, keep your skins. So I'm just taping down my skin to the cutting mat so that it doesn't move when I use that rotary cutter. I made my planet smaller than my four inch round that I had, but I think it looks perfect for this. So that one's done and I'm moving on to the second one. I have three in all that I cut out. Yay! Okay, so I've got my planets. Now what I need to do is add highlighting and shading to them.
I'm now ready for the next layer of resin and I am using Wynn Maldives Glow Powder and again Wynn Full Moon Glow Powder and I'm just mixing it into um, a little bit of resin. I mixed up a total of five ounces of resin and just pulled some out. What I have in here is just a little bit of white. I used some Let's Resin resin dye in white just to give this a bit of a, a white base to go off of and then I put the other two pigments in. What I didn't show you is that uh, after I had mixed up these three pigments, I decided that I wanted to add an interference red as well. So that also gets added and I am making a, a spiral galaxy here. It's Marie Louise's birthday on October the 6th and I just have to say that I am so appreciative of our friendship and the wonderful ideas that we bounce off of each other, the good, the bad, the ugly, the downright crazy. I mean, you guys saw the uh, underwater volcanic eruption slash explosion, right? <laughs> but um, her friendship is truly treasured and she's just one of my best friends. And I can't imagine a universe, a, a, a galaxy, without her in it so as she loves galaxies and I love doing galaxies of different kinds I am doing this one as a tribute to Marie Louise so happy birthday darling many many more to come I know you're only 25 so there's plenty of time for more fun laughter and craziness my galaxy is cured, the galaxy layer, and now I'm doing my second planet. I just put a small piece of tape in a loop under this little planet, and I want to put it half over the other one. And so I'm not pushing that planet down completely. It's raised up, but it sticks to the other layer of resin, and it sticks to the um, skin and it will hold that planet in place while I have this layer of resin. And now, speaking of layers of resin, now I'm doing the nebula. So I'm adding all different colors of pigments um, and they will all be listed in the description below. One thing I learned from this is those pigments go a long way. If there was one thing I could do differently, I wouldn't put such a long line of the pigment down, I would make it a little bit smaller. I'm also doing uh, a second layer. To my spiral galaxy. Again, just trying to build this um, galaxy up in layers so it gives it a more 3D effect. That layer's cured, and now I want to add some stars in. And I am using um, Artist Loft Iridescent Medium, just straight out of the bottle and applying it to this particular layer of my galaxy. I'm also adding a big star there. And now, because I've already mixed up the resin like an idiot, <laughs> I use my heat gun to dry that, fast dry that paint so that my stars will stay in place. So again, speaking of layers, I had that glitter layer on the very first resin, resin layer, and then I have this star layer, and I do one more star layer. As you can see, I'm also adding another layer of pigments, different colors to my nebula. I'm almost done. I just have one more planet to put on and I'm doing this the same way I stuck down my very first one. I'm just using Liquitex uh, gloss medium and applying it to the back of my planet and then sticking it down on top of that layer of resin. Again, that way it'll hold it in place and it won't float away. 
I also added another layer of stars at that point, let them dry, and my final, final layer of resin. And here is the final piece, but wait for the surprise. The 3D effect from all the layers of resin can really be seen with the shadows underneath the planets and underneath the stars. And I just think that that is so cool to just have this galaxy come to life. So just really quickly, I want to wish ML a happy birthday. Please everyone go make sure that uh, you have checked out her painting her otherworldly painting, show her some love, especially on her birthday. Again, that is October 6th. Happy birthday, ML. Now, don't forget about the surprise. Surprise! Remember those wind uh, pigments? They are phosphorescent pigments and you don't need a black light to see them. They charge up in the sunlight or in any kind of light, but they supercharge under a black light. And speaking of black lights, this is what it looks like with a black light on. Last night I supercharged it using the black light and at two in the, two in the morning, it still had a faint glow. That's how cool this is. Let me know what your thoughts are on this piece. I am absolutely over the moon with it. <laughs> Yeah.